Hello everyone, my name is April, and me and my supremely round head would like to welcome you back to my playthrough of Dragon Age 2 Part 2, where we last left off, dashing rogue Marion Hawk was making her way downtown, out of Lothering, to safety, and our backstory is the pre-built martyr history because tragically I realize I played Origins on PlayStation, so no Isabella three-way, but just know that it's canon and it happened. And it happened in everyone's playthrough. Even yours. Especially yours. It happened. All the time. Always. Oh, that should have been an option in Inquisition. Hopefully. Next time. In a DLC. Anyway, let us begin. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna put it on casual difficulty because honestly, I'm not really playing the game for the fighting and I will probably skip a lot of it Anyway, I kind of just want to replay the story, and I don't know, I feel like that's more exciting to react to, and not only that, but I also plan on talking during the fights, so it's, let's just, let's just keep it real. Let's just keep it honest. Light <coughs> has been unleashed on Ferelda. Dark spawn poured out of the wilds, clashing against the army at the ruins of Ostagar. The battle was a disaster. King Kalen died on the field with his men, betrayed okay. by his most trusted general. Unopposed, the horde marched on the village of Lothering. The village burned, and many innocents were slaughtered. The champion's family barely escaped in time. Damn it, Leandra. Bethany's so cool, though. Maybe I'm cool, too. Trevor, you're okay. You're pretty cool. You're decent. I think that's all of them. For the moment, make us save us. We've lost it all. Everything your father and I built. Could be worse. At least we're alive. That's no small feat. Yes. You're right. We should have run sooner. Why did we wait so long? Why are you looking at us? We've been running since Ostagar. Speaking of running, let's not to interrupt. But the blight's not going to wait while we stand. I love how they like refuse to cross Please. the flame. Listen to your sister. Then let's go. Lead on. They're just like, we're not gonna cross there. Like, let's, no, let's just be real about it. Ooh, shiny things. You're not getting away with that. Okay, okay, but, 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 hang on. Like, for real though, let's just, like, let's just keep our priorities in order. <laughs> Hawk, why are you looting during battle? Get away from that dead corpse. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think so. Okay. Oh, level up immediately. Um. <clears throat> oh, go away. So cunning, dexterity, cool. Uh, let's go. backstab. Go away. Yep, that sounds good. <clears throat> oh, inventory. Watch this. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Okay. Let's keep going. Probably edit out that. I mean, that was pretty exciting, right? No. It's cool. Wait. Where are we going? Away from the darkspawn. Where else? And then where? We can't just wander aimlessly. That's totally what we're going to do, Bethany. So long as we wander aimlessly away from the horde, I'm happy. We can go to Kirkwall. Well, that wouldn't be my first choice. There's a lot of Templars in Kirkwall, Mother. I know that. But we still have family there. And an estate. I was rich as fuck! 
Then we need to get to Guarin and take ship. If we survive that long, I'll just be happy to get out of here. If Marion has that guard on her left hand, does that mean she's left hand? Like that, that thing? Look at Wesley, you're a chump. Look at this guy. Sorry, Wesley. You will not have him. The scene cemented my love for Aveline immediately. She is. They will not have you. Not while I breathe. She's so legit. I love her. I also really love uh, characters that fight with shields. I don't know why, I just think they're really cool. And I like the idea that, you know, they're all protection and that just like the sword and shield tank is like one of my favorite classes. Stop squirming, Wesley. You'll make it worse. Stop being a little wuss, Wesley! Apostle your baby. Keep your distance. Well the maker has a sense of humor. <laughs> Darkspawn and now a Templar. I thought they all abandoned Lothering. The spawn are clear in their intent, but the mage is always unknown. This guy. The order dictates. Wesley. That woman is an apostate. The order dictates. What does the order do, Wesley? What is it gonna do, Wesley? Yeah, they saved us. Dictate. The maker understands. Uh, well, I mean, if it dictates, then I guess we have to. I am Aveline Valen. This is my husband, Sir Wesley. We can hate each other when we're safe from the ward. I would never hate you, Aveline. Look, Wesley. You rarely take these options. But you always stick up for Bethany. Bethany's like... So long kid. as you know, I stand with Bethany, Templar. Understood. For now, we move with you. North is cut off. We barely escaped the main body of the horde. Then we're trapped. The wilds are to the south. That's no way out. If the options are south or die, I'll take my chances with south. I really like how they had the random, <coughs> excuse me, cutscene dialogue that you don't get to choose kind of be based on which, um... Carver, why are you rivaling me? I didn't even do anything. Jeez. Let's see what you have to say. Ah. Get your breath while you can. Ah, thanks, Carver. Keep sharp. Be ready for anything. I'm sure there's more trouble to come. I see them. Oh, I can level you guys up. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I have the sneezles. Uh, let's do ice powers. Ice powers are super cool in, uh, in these games. And we're gonna put all your strength up because you won't really have a high constitution in a little bit. You know what I'm saying? That health bar, it's not gonna matter. <laughs> oh yeah, I see, I see you guys waiting over there. Let me just, let me just, let me just grab some stuff off your dead friends. You know. Cool, cool, thanks for waiting, thanks for waiting. You guys are, uh, too gross. All right, guys. Good fight. Good fight. Let's let's keep it going. Kill the emissary. Yeah. Back down. All right. Quickly before they regroup. We must press towards the wilds. Okay, okay, I hear you, and I understand, but, however, there are shiny things over here, so we're just gonna, you know, they could be, could be villainous. Another cool thing about playing a rogue in the beginning, uh, is that you get to open the chest at the, the beginning. Which is pretty cool, because I always feel bummed when I miss out on the chests. All right, let's level everyone up real quick. Probably skip through this, but, you know. Hey, Carver. 
Trevor, how you doing? I'll keep watch if you need to stop for a moment. Aw, thanks, Garv. Trevor, you're a true bro. Be ready for anything. I'm sure there's more trouble to come. Take point. I'll be rear guard. <laughs> I love how um Carver and Bethany are like, do what you gotta do. I'm gonna do this. Yeah. And Aveline's like, take point. I got rear guard. I'm not sure we can survive much more of this. Don't worry, mom. We're all totally gonna survive, and we're all. To no one cares about you, Wesley. Sorry. We're all totally gonna make it, especially Wesley and Carver. They're definitely the safest among us. Carver! Carver's jig legs! No! Oh! Carver! This is not boring. <laughs> the just straight up like, well, Carver's dead, but I mean. This is not boring. That later. Carver, wake up. The battle's over. Carver, quit We're sleeping fine. on the job. I'm sorry, mistress. Your son is gone. No. These things will not take Carver. He died bravely. Carver gave himself to save us. I don't want a hero. I want my son. How could you let him charge off like that? Your little brother. My little boy. Mother, we can't stay here. Carver wouldn't want his sacrifice to be meaningless. Allow me to commend your son's soul to the Maker, Mistress. Ashes we were, and ashes we become. Maker, give this young man a place at your side. Let us take comfort in the peace he has found in eternity. I will never forget you, Carver. I would hope not. You're his mom. <laughs> Can you imagine, though? Carver. Who dis? New phone. When I first saw the he won't be alone, I was imagining that, like, Marion was referring to all of the herlocks and ogres, like, just a minute before. So, like, Carver would be dead, go up to, like, Carver heaven, and then Marion's like, Hey, bro! Have an ogre for company! And then Carver's like, God damn it, Marion, why? Oh, now I have to deal with this guy again. But at least Father will have company now. Aww. Flames, we're too late. <laughs> You'll never find it now. Swiper, no swiping. Uh. Well, you know. Go down. There's no end to them. Marion's like, fuck yes. Marion's like, I have a boner so hard right now. I mean, look at that. That's cool, dude. Like, yes. Flemeth is so cool. She's like a cool mom. You guys need any dead bodies? You want a condom? Marion's like, life goals, wife goals. Well, well. <clears throat> what have we here? It used to be we never got visitors to the wilds, but now it seems they arrive in hordes. Impressive. Where'd you learn how to turn into a dragon? 
Perhaps I am a dragon. That's like the coolest so, response you could have. Healthy. The smell of burning darkspawn <laughs> does nothing for the appetite. If you wish to flee the darkspawn, you should know you are heading in the wrong direction. Wait! You can't just leave us here! Can I not? Rude. I spotted the most curious sight. A mighty ogre <laughs> vanquished. Who could perform such a feat? Well, it's not casual, now so. my curiosity is sated, and you are safe for the moment. Is that not enough? <laughs> I want to be a dragon. You could show me that trick of yours. That looks useful. <laughs> if only a clever tongue was all one needed. If you're Isabella, that's all Tell you need. Me, clever child. How do you intend to outrun the blind? <coughs> Excuse me. We need to get to Kirkwall. In the free marches. Kirkwall? My, but that is quite the voyage you plan. Your king will not miss you, hmm? Well... I'm sure he'll miss his life more. <laughs> oh, you I like. Hurtled into the chaos, you fight. And the world will shake before you. The fuck does that mean? <laughs> Is it fate or chance? I can never decide. It appears fortune smiles on us both today. I may be able to help you yet. There must be a catch. <laughs> there is always a catch. Life is a catch. I suggest you catch it while you can. Catch 22. Maybe we catch you later. Catch, catch me if you can. I know what she is. I know what she is. The Witch of the Wilds. Some call me that. Also Flemeth. Asha Bellinar. An old hag who talks too much. <laughs> She's so cool. Does it matter? I offer you this. I will get your group past the Horde in exchange for a simple delivery to a place not far out of your way. Would you do this for a Witch of the Wilds? What's a Witch of the Wilds? What is a Witch of the Wilds, exactly. A chastened legend. Witches that steal children. Bah, as if I had nothing better to do. <sighs> You're perfect. an apostate? Yes, just like you. All right, let's crowdsource this. Should we trust her? Wesley is injured. We'll never escape the dark spawn. If you need to, leave me behind. Oh, he's all jacked up. No, I said I would drag you out if I had to, and I meant it. Evelyn is so legit. I love her. Well, I'm just gonna play it cool. Like at this point, Hawk is like, "Oh my God, Flemeth, you're so fucking cool." But she's just gonna be like, "You know what?" I can't guarantee anything's gonna happen, you know? I have to reach Kirkwall first. <clears throat> but you will do it. Presumptuous. There is a clan of Dalish elves near the city of Kirkwall. Deliver this amulet to their keeper, Marathari. Do as she asks with it, and any debt between us is paid in full. Before I take you anywhere, however, there is another matter. No, leave him alone. What has been done to your man is within his blood already. You lie. She's right, Aveline. I can feel the corruption inside me. What are you talking about? From the dark spawn. All that blood. I knew when it happened. And how much time before you? Not long now, if I am any judge. Sounds bad. This corruption is the permanent sort, I take it. The only cure I know of is to become a Grey Warden. And they all died at Ostago. Not all, but the last are now beyond your reach. Aveline. Listen to me. You can't ask me this. I won't. 
please. The corruption is a slow death. I can't. I don't know. It seems to have snuck up on you pretty quick. Oh, he's probably all jacked up because he got stabbed in the back, though. <clears throat> Kill him! No. He's your husband, Emily. I can't decide his fate. would be so hard. <laughs> It's no easier. Your struggles have only just begun. Flemeth! I thought that might interest you. You expect me to believe a myth swooped out of the wild to save the champion? Oh, come now, Seeker. Do I need to recite the tale of the Warden as well? No. Perhaps I shouldn't be surprised to hear of her involvement. I liked my version better, too. <laughs> What else aren't you telling me, then? Did she send someone with the champion? In a matter of speaking. So it's true. Continue. But if you tell me they all flew to Kirkwall on a dragon... That's exactly what happened. so fanciful, I assure you. It's what happened. The witch kept her word and got them to Guaran, where they took ship. They sailed north across the waking sea, lashed by terrible storms. Two weeks they spent in that dark hold, packed in with the fearful and the desperate. And then they saw it. Kirkwall, the city of chains. It looks delightful. Long ago it was part of the Imperium, slaves coming from far and wide to work the quarries. Now, it's a free city, but I use the word loosely. Sail through those black cliffs and you'll see what the slaves of old saw. The gallows, welcoming you. That's where their ship landed, with all the rest. <laughs> I like those little animations that they have, or like, um... Moving paintings. Dude, that would suck. I would get so seasick. Like, I'm fine on the top of the boat, like when it's going pretty quick, but when it like stops or if I would be inside not able to see anything or have fresh air, sorry, or have fresh air, City. What? what? That can't be. It's true. Look at them all. They're Fereldans, just like us. Fleeing for their lives. And they would throw us all back to the wolves. Unbelievable. It's totally believable. People are I'm only surprised they let us dock. We need to find Gamlin. Our family has always been highly regarded in Kirkwall. He can do something, I'm sure of it. I'm so rich, you guys. You don't even know how rich I was. The guards seem to be reporting to that man. Perhaps we should speak to him. Aveline friendship. Thanks, Aveline. You can't keep us in here. 
Yeah. Like, okay. Get back to the crowd, you lot. Trying to bully your way through won't get you into Kirkwall any faster. But you do intend to let us in. <laughs> we have enough poor of our own. Poor oh, people. Marches. We don't need you refugees piling up here like a midden's heap. Listen. I would like to speak to the manager, please. This is just not acceptable. There must be someone in charge I can speak with. Yes, yes, always the same story. You want in, talk to Captain Yuald. I'm just here to keep you refuse from climbing the walls. I'm gonna report you so fast, you won't even know. You won't even know. You won't even know. Let's report a bitch. We'll stop. You probably will. That guy is a total... Was Wesley based out of the Lothering Chantry? I don't remember ever seeing him there. He served elsewhere. He was coming to find me at Ostagar. Were you familiar with every Templar in Lothering? How else was I supposed to know when to run and hide? True. True. Was that a cookie? No. <clears throat> what are we going to do? I'll save everything. Or actually, okay, we're getting about to like 30 minutes, so I'm going to call it a cut here, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Uh, have a good morning, evening, afternoon, or nighttime. Bye.